Today I want to show you how to quickly and easily add a pretty sweet snow effect to your photographs here. And what I'm talking about is that is the original shot I took and then once I added the snow effect it gave it a nice spice there. So real quick before we get started I want to, I reorganized my YouTube channel a little bit for you guys so you can really easily find my different tutorials. So if you just scroll down on my in Michael J. Bauer Photography YouTube channel and you'll find I added right under photography tutorials I do have a lot of really great tutorials right here if you want to check out just by hitting the button it'll take you over to some of the other ones and then just below that I do have a series of photography tutorials on social media marketing so if you would like to make money with your photographs you may want to go through some of these videos right here and they'll definitely help you on some of the tips and tricks I use for selling photographs. Okay, back to the picture here. That's uh, Let me go ahead and we'll start from scratch on how I did the whole process here. And just real quick also, uh, when I did take this photograph, it was actually snowing pretty good at the time, but because I did a longer exposure, the snowflakes didn't really show up too good. And as you scroll in, you can kind of see some of them right here. So I ended up having to basically modify this picture a little bit to give it the true effect of what it really looked like at the time. And what I could have done if I had a remote flash with me, I probably could have pulled off the same effect doing a long exposure and then one quick flash with the remote flash, but I didn't have that with me at that time. So let's go ahead and get started here. Let me go ahead and just exit out of this. So the very first thing you want to do is pick the photograph that you do want to do the modifications too. So I'm just going to go ahead and drag and drop a photograph into Photoshop here. Okay, the next thing we want to do is find a good filler for the snow effect here. So now what we want to do is go to google.com. So let's pull that on up. And in Google, let's go ahead and search snow effect Photoshop. Now you want to do up here, let's go under images. Now it's going to show you a bunch of different kind of snow effects out there that we could possibly use. So let me just kind of click on a couple of these. And then when you do click on some of these, um, for each image you do click on, you're going to see the size of the image right up here. And you're going to notice some are smaller. This one's 900 by 60. Now you could probably get away with some of these smaller sizes because we do stretch the picture out. So I might even try this one. This one's a really heavy kind of a snow looking effect on it. So we'll see how this one actually looks. So I'm gonna actually come right here and where it says view image, click on that. You wanna make sure the image comes up in a screen that looks like this and doesn't take you to a website. If it takes you to a website, click off of that image and just go to another one until you can find something like this. So once you get a screen that looks like this, we want to go ahead and right click, click save image as. I'm actually going to save this to my desktop. And I'm going to rename this one snow effect. Okay, now back in Photoshop, I want to go ahead and drag that image that I just saved onto my desktop, the snow effect. And now I want to do is go ahead and make sure the whole snow effect is filled in on the picture. So I'll just kind of Make sure I fill in all these edges with the snow effect. So all I'm going to do is going to hover right over the edge of this and I'm going to drag it down and I'll drag it up a little bit. And I do have an option of spreading it out just a little bit, just so it more than fills the picture and kind of stretches the snowflakes out a little bit. I'm going to hit my enter key. Now what we want to do is blend this in with the original background picture that we put on there. So I'm going to come over here where it says normal. I'm going to click on that and I'm going to go down to screen. Now the last thing I want to do is I want to adjust the opacity just a little bit on this. So right here where it says opacity, I'm going to click on that and there's a little bar right here. I could just take that bar and just kind of drag it over just a little bit just to give it a little softer look. And that gives you a nice little almost Christmas card effect here going on. So if everything looks good, we could go ahead and save this. So I'll just click on file, save as. And I'll just save this as a JPEG. And we could put it on desktop and just hit save. This is actually a pretty slick uh, slick thing to do for uh, 
if you want to do like Christmas cards out there for the holidays that are coming up. So anyways, I hope this uh, little quick tutorial helped you out. And if it did, hit that like button and definitely share the video with anybody that you think this could help them out. And we'll catch you guys on the next video.